Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we are back here inside of the How to Make a Race Clicker type game in Roblox. Sorry for the bit of a delay in videos over here, guys, but I think we should be back to normal right now. I just had to sort out a few stuff over here, guys, but pretty much um, into this video, we're going to be making, like, the click at the start of the mount and um, the round to go ahead and gain speed and all that sort of stuff, guys, which is going to be really, really exciting. First things first, though, I do have a Patreon account where you guys can actually join for the price of £8 per month. And with this, guys, you can access every single one of my Roblox Studio files, which I show on this channel. So why not, guys, it literally is only £8, and with that, guys, you never know, you could get a pretty successful game in Roblox and then way more than eight pounds anyway let's get on into the video right now so guys first things first what we're gonna do is quickly add some um some new remote events inside of the replicate storage so these are gonna be used for later on so we're gonna add our first remote event and this remote event is gonna be the court um called change value next guys we are gonna add another remote event and we're gonna call this one so let's add another remote event over here and we are gonna call this remote event go normal speed just for here there we go guys okay so we've got them two remote events sorted out next what we're gonna do over here is pretty much inside of this add a new folder and just add this folder name it something like temp values and pretty much guys inside this we're gonna add a new value this is gonna be an int value guys and we're gonna name this int value um we're gonna put this as current and then speed just over here there we go guys and um, that one's equal to current speed right now so pretty much now that we've got this what you're gonna want to do over here guys is set your current speed to nine or whatever speed you guys want your players to start off at so i'm personally gonna set mine to nine then once you guys have done this also go to the starter player click on that to the right and you guys are gonna see character walk speed just for here guys and make sure that this is also set to the same number as your current speed value over here guys so mine of course is at nine over here just like that one right now and if you guys what we're gonna do next is pretty much this so we're gonna actually add a thing to give like temporary values to the players so i'm just gonna add a new script inside of service script service guys i'm gonna call this script give um give and then temp values something like this over here guys next what i'm gonna do is this i'm gonna do local replicated storage is equal to game get service replicated storage next guys i'm gonna do local temp values is equal to replicated storage rate for child temp values after you've done that guys we're gonna just simply do something like this we're gonna do game dot players um dot players and then dot player added colon connect function and inside this guys we're gonna put the player next all we're gonna do over here guys is pretty much um clone the temp value so we'll do something like local new temp values is equal to temp values colon clone and then guys from there we can just simply and parent the new time values to the player which is going to be quite nice guys so now these will be parented to the player whenever we start the game them temporary values are going to be added to the player right now guys which is honestly very very nice next up what we are going to do over here is pretty much this so what i'm going to personally do next is i think um and now add a um a thing so if you guys remember we added a tool last video what we're going to do is add a new script inside of this and we're just going to call this script detector um just over here guys and inside this detector script you guys are gonna want to go ahead and follow me right now guys okay so all we are going to do is just pretty much add a debounce so we're going to do function debounce and then func um one second guys it must be um inside these brackets just for here guys and then we're gonna do local is running the um is running is equal to false and then return function function there we go guys after that we will do if not is running then we're gonna do is running is equal to true and we're gonna do the function sorry func um, call that guys after that we are going to wait 0.1 seconds we're going to explain what this is doing later on then we're going to do is running is equal to false right now guys so pretty much what this is is kind of like a cooldown it kind of determines how often you guys can can click and gain speed over here guys for this one you're going to be able to click a maximum of 10 tam times per second of course guys you can make this a bit um a bit shorter for example maybe 0.05 something like that guys but yeah just make sure you do have a deep on this um because it kind of stops um people using auto click and getting like mad speed unless you guys want that to happen feel free to but yeah um anyway we're gonna do local tool is equal to script dot parent next guys we're gonna do um tool then dot activated colon connect debounce function 
inside this guys we're gonna do local player is equal to um script and then colon find first ancestor which is a and then we're gonna do player uh, player or game colon get service players and then we're gonna do colon get player um or get player from character and then inside this guys we can just simply do script um dot parent dot parent because pretty much guys this is going to be always a script guys so that means that it's going to be inside of the inside the player at all times and the player's character at all times so we'll just look at the parent we'll eventually find the from the character from that guys um and then from and then then the player but anyway guys what we're going to do next is this we're going to do local current speed is equal to player dot temp values and then dot current um speed next guys we're going to do current speed dot value is equal to current speed dot value plus one so pretty much now guys if we join the game what's going to happen is if i quickly look inside of here um we'll have our temp value swing our current speed of course is nine and we are moving at a nine speed but now guys if you start click as you can see it is going up over here in the left so it's now ended up about 30. however guys now that i'm clicking this uh, and of course it stops when when that like the click time stops too but now that i'm clicking this guys my, my speed's actually not changing and now that we go back into another game over here guys um and we're waiting to click again as you can see it's currently still 41 and it is now going up so it's not really resetting back to like a normal speed amount how exactly are we gonna go in and change this guys well pretty much you are gonna want to follow exactly what i do right now guys so all we are gonna do here is essentially this so pretty much what we need to do right now is we can do a few things guys um you know what? we will do the change value thing first so kind of like it resets the value back all the time so what we're gonna do is this guys we're gonna add a script inside of here and we're gonna call this script change value just over here guys next what we want to do is pretty much this we're gonna do local replicated um replicated storage is equal to game call on get service then replicated storage after that guys we're gonna do local change value um is equal to replicate the storage with child change value next guys we will do change value one second um i don't know why it is not deleting all that guys i'm holding it down anyway change value um dot on server event colon connect function inside this guys we're going to do player then we're going to do value to change after that guys we're going to do change to something like this over here guys right there we go so we've got this right now anyway guys next we're going to do value um value to change dot value is equal to change to just over here guys there we go anyway next what we're going to do right now is essentially modify um where is it it is the round manager one um the round man to be fair guys just copy this actually no um never mind right what we're gonna do is quickly go to the where is it guys round manager here we go and inside the round manager script all we are gonna want to do over here guys is do local go normal um speed this is why we added the the rep and um, the remote events and the replicate storage at the start of the video wait for child then go um go normal speed there we go guys after that what we are gonna do well when we get like the new barrier bit we are gonna do go normal speed and we're gonna do fire or clients okay guys but currently we have nothing to like fire to because we don't really have a script which has like a dot on client event thing for that guys so pretty much what we're gonna do right now guys inside of the start of player inside of start player script we're gonna add a new script and this script is gonna be called something like change speed there we go guys after that we're gonna do this we're gonna do local players um local players is equal to game um game colon get service players keep in mind guys if you are struggling at any point in today's video guys remember you can always um join my patreon and download these exact work in roblox studio files then guys we're going to do local players equal to players dot local player next guys want to do local temp values is equal to player wait for child temp values then guys we're gonna that, that's not how you spell it temp temp values next we will do local current um speed is equal to temp values with the child current speed next we will do local replicated storage um and then that's going to be equal to game colon get service replicated storage 
next guys we will do local um local values actually to be fair do we really no no we, we don't need that guys we're gonna do local in race actually no sorry no we are gonna do local go normal um speed is equal to replicated storage wait for child go normal speed next guys we will do local change value is equal to replicate the storage colon wait for child and then change value there we go guys so after we've done this what we're going to do is this we're going to do local character is equal to player dot character um then guys we will do if not character and um, that's not how you spell character and i honestly don't know why my um whenever you guys hold down like the the delete key it should like delete the rest of the things before but i need to click it individually each time quite weird guys don't know why that's happening anyway we're gonna do local i'm sorry if not character or not character dot parent then we will do character um is equal to player dot character um added um i cannot spell today guys Char character added and then we're gonna do colon wait next guys we're gonna do local humanoid is equal to character wait for child then we're gonna do humanoid one second humanoid after that guys um humanoid there we go after that we will do humanoid dot walk speed um walk speed is equal to current speed dot value there we go guys okay next we're gonna do current speed dot changed colon connect function and inside this guys to be fair we should have probably just put this in just put this in here guys because of course we all kind of put on our speed to nine first so that, that doesn't really matter though um so next we are gonna do go normal speed dot on client um event colon connect function inside this guys we're gonna do change value we're gonna fire the server and we are gonna change the current speed value and we want to change this value to nine because of course nine is the original speed that will default to so if you jump on into the game again guys this should be working perfectly so guys three two one if i start clicking right now guys um you'll see i am gonna start to move up as you can see i am speeding up a ton right now guys there we go i've speeded up i sped up a bunch and now guys i can like start the race of course i've set my timer to like really really short and now guys once we get reset as you can see we are really really slow again guys and it'll start that cycle again and again which is awesome however guys the player would probably want to know what their actual speed was guys so to go in and do this it is quite simple what we're going to do inside of the starter green um, gui inside of screen gui we might as well do this um we will do we'll add a text label over here guys i'm just going to call this um where here it is guys we're just gonna call this speed display um and then inside this guys we will do text i'm just gonna quickly um slide transparency down there we go guys i'm gonna quickly convert these values to scale so position and size to scale of course guys you can do this manually by just opening these up and just changing the numbers make sure it's on scale guys then i'm just gonna quickly um change the font to fredoka one because it's kind of my favorite font at the moment guys there we go fredoka one i am going to select text scaled i'm going to put this the text to white on that as well guys and you know what we'll also add a ui um ui stroke on that and there we go just to make it a lot bit easier there we go ui stroke to see um so now we have this speed display what we're going to do right now guys is just change this to current um current speed is equal we'll do current speed and then nine something like this over here guys maybe scale this up a little bit so that'll display like our current speed so how exactly are we going to change this guys well we will um create a new local script and we're just going to call this change um display something like this guys after that we will do um local um text is equal to script dot parent next guys what we're going to do in the change script thing we kind of want to copy these four lines over here guys so copy and paste them in next we will do current speed dot changed colon connect function after that guys inside this we will do text dot text is equal to pretty much um do these speech marks um current speed and then colon space dot dot current speed dot value 
and that pretty much guys is all you need to do over here to display the current speed too um which is quite nice guys i think this might just be a temporary measure because of course we kind of do have that on speedometer so you know guys we'll be doing that in a later video but if you guys kind of want to store that over there guys as you can see our current speed is that so yeah quite well not really the current speed it's kind of like the max speed because of course i'm not really going that speed at the moment but yeah guys you kind of get what i mean yeah there it is and that's going to be it for this video here guys like and subscribe for more videos on this series guys and hopefully i will be getting them to more more often but yeah guys if you did make sure to like and subscribe remember check out my patreon and yeah guys watch out for the next video